Okay, today we are looking at using the news module within Content Made Simple or CMS Made Simple. So you will find your news module located under Content, News, also within the main uh, login panel. Uh, second group down, Content, and News on the end. The default page it will display is the Articles section. Uh, where it lists out the title of the articles, posted date, expiry date if used, category if they've been assigned to a specific category, allows us to uh, neatly organize things if we want to show different news postings on different pages or sections within the site, and status, whether it is uh, a published article or it's allowed to be published, or whether it is uh, marked as a draft. All you'd have to do is click on the check mark and that would set it from one or the other. Um, we've also got an edit button here, a trash button, and plus we can do some uh, group commands, some batch commands over here. So under select, if I click that, that would select all, deselect all. And then you could change the category so they're, um, you know, reassigned to a different category very easily that way. Or you could delete the selected articles. We're going to start by taking a look at editing an existing uh, news posting. So, let's click on the title here. And this is where we get to know um, the interface a little bit. It lets us know the author, so whoever published, uh, whoever was logged in when this uh, particular article was entered. Uh, the title, category, summary, usually used just within a listing of articles. And then when you click on it, you get the full content entry or the details of that particular posting uh, which works like any other um, uh, really any other WYSIWYG editor. We've got some extra fields down at the bottom. The post date so we can set it for a future date if we want to write up an article that's going to go live say next week. We can do that very easily. We can set it between published or draft. If it's a draft it will not be displayed on the site. We can also set an expiration date. So if we check off uh, use expiration date, we have to kind of mirror our post date under the start date, so the date that it becomes active, date and time, and the end date, so the date and time at which it should come offline. Uh, a good example of a good use for that would be uh, job postings it's a limited term you don't want it up there for the entire year you want it to come down after the uh, deadline for submissions so it'd be ideal for something like that so that's the basics of it if we do go back and take a look at all the articles again um, if we just wanted to add a new article we'll see these uh, the button and the text located above and below the list of existing articles click on add article And there you go. All the same fields that we were just looking at when we edit. It's just they're blank now. So you can start anew. And if I decide I don't want to do it, just click on the cancel. This takes us back to this list. If we did want to create more categories, which is really the only other field that you're likely to see uh, from a, an editing standpoint. Um, so the categories themselves, just add a different category. If you want to change an existing one to something else, type on it, uh, click on it. It does support um, hierarchical management, so you could put a category within a category, you know, that kind of thing, um, which may or may not be necessary. It depends on your situation. So that's it. Uh, hit cancel. And that really is the news module in a nutshell. You can insert images and link to documents, link to pages, link to websites the same way you would uh, manning even a regular or managing a regular page uh, within the site. So nothing too crazy here.